everybody! I'm probably uploading this to my YouTube. For anyone that's watching on YouTube, this is the one I am running right now. So you're probably wondering where the fuck is my mace and my lance? So my plan is going to be, if specs miss on all, we use this bad boy. We're probably going to end up using 3-1, but uh, if we do hit specs, we're using this bad boy instead. So uh, yeah. <laughs> There's, uh, there's my chat going off right now. We've also got the spec ring as well that's gonna make it nice for Ice Demon because we're guaranteed to always have two specs for Ice, assuming that things do kind of go fast for Tecton. But uh, I'm just gonna send the full run and that's it. I'm probably gonna spice this up and just show kind of the highlights of the gear in action. So it won't be everything. It'll just be like showing where the gear actually is good. Anything from Raid 3? Yeah, I've gotten two drops day in one. I'm gonna have to get used to using this weapon though, because it's 5 took. Okay, it is uh, not doing as expected. But we can do this! <laughs> okay, Tecton's still cringe. Nothing's new there, though. Come here, bitch. Are right, we gonna actually hit a spec? Oh. We're hitting. We're hitting. What? We're actually hitting. What? We're not missing. <laughs> What the fuck? I know it's a lower max hit, but I'm not fucking missing at all. Wait. Oh. Okay, there we go. Wait. How did I fuck up my switch that badly? Alright, the moment you've been waiting for. Oh, oh shit. I'll start here. Oh. Oops. I don't know my own strength. No max. Oh, don't do it. Okay, we're safe. <laughs> okay, this is the moment we we're waiting for. Hold on. Ladies and gentlemen, pay attention. Pay attention, class. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, it's so good! Holy fuck! Oh no. That's not ideal. Okay, that felt so good on the melee, but like, holy shit. That's what I wanted to see. Oh, right, I gotta put on long range.
That's unfortunate. Feels consistent, but you don't see as big hits. Yeah, it feels a lot more consistent, though. Do we want to bank the pouch and potentially take a risk of getting flamed? Come on, pussy. Fuck it. Fuck it! Oh no. Thank god, dude. This game loves me. Really? Still miss my specs! Oh my god, the fucking tick heal. Oh right, flame. Can be careful. Only had a ZCB. Can you set it up here? There we go. I'm dead. God damn it! Uh, I mean, we still got GM type, though. <laughs> we just died. This only fan sucks. Alright, guys, so I'm going to show this quick rundown of some calcs just to show the difference of Fang and Mace when you're facing off against Tekton and CM. So, let me do zero hammers first. So the Fang actually is better than Ink Mace, and then if we go to two hammers, it actually is even, it's a little bit more better. So it's 1% compared to 0.38% or whatever the first number was. But if we go to Enrage Tacton, you will notice that with two hammers, the Mace does get better. 8.37% damage uh, more. And then if we go on zero specs, then the gap is a bit smaller. But uh, yeah, it's just to show you that you don't have to use Ink Mace anymore. You can now do full Torba and Osmondson's Fang. So next we're going to be looking at the difference between uh, the Lance and the Osmondson's Fang. So as you see here, it's actually 4% better than the Lance. Which is kind of insane. I would think that the length was still going to end up being better, but this is of course on zero hammer. So if we do one hammer, then you're going to notice it's a bit different. 
Now they're kind of like close together. 0.64% difference with the lance being better. And if it's two hammers, then this will end up being 5% better. Now my thought process here is that if you do end up hitting specs, like a lot of specs, then you might as well just start siphing it. And potential wise, I think that the lance still can just absolutely slap and kill the hand. But we're not talking about potential here, we are talking about averages. So in the law of averages, the Fang is actually not a bad weapon for the melee hand and CMs. Just because the defense is so fucking high. So that's actually that's actually a good thing to note. Alright, so up next we're going to be looking at the difference for Scythe and the Fang on the range vanguard, assuming you're using Torva for both. So the Fang is actually better. It is 7.85% better. Obviously, potential-wise, Scythe is always going to be better. But in terms of average, the Fang is going to be better. And on top of that, you probably... You never have to worry about doing that one risky hit. It's like, oh, I might hit an 80 here. And then you end up hitting that 80 and they reset it. You don't really have to worry about that since it has a lower max hit. So it's a bit easier to control the HP of the range Vanguard now. But uh, yeah, that's, that's basically it. The Fang is actually pretty good for solo CM. Um, since it's... Alright, Protect On, actually good for Ulm, and now we see that it's good for the Range Vanguard as well. So, uh, yeah, that's basically it. Now, in regards to the Spec Ring, though, I think that the Spec Ring is going to be super good, and that's just because, for one, you're going to have more Specs for Ulm. Um, as you saw in the video, I fucking hit none of my Specs, so that was unfortunate. But in the scenario that you do miss, you do have more chances to hopefully hit a spec, so that's a good thing. Um, it does take a toll on your max hits, of course, especially on your scythe, but I still think it's worth it. You can make up for that with uh, more claw specs for rooms like vanguards. Um, and you can also use more specs on floor 3 and other places. So we might see end up seeing ZCBs and teams and stuff. I'll, I'll be experimenting with that whenever we get into CM5s. But at least in the solo aspect, you're going to have a lot more specs. That, that's pretty much it for that. The new mage weapon, it does feel better. Uh, it's more consistent on the vest portal. I feel potential-wise, if you're going for potential, the bow has more potential. But consistency, the staff is very consistent. Um, and it does feel a bit better on the old melee hand. or <laughs> On the old mage hand. However, however, the run that you need to do with it is a bit complicated. I'm probably going to include a clip of that that shows like the run in action. I'll also put it a link in the description as well. But you have to learn that run if you want to take less damage. The run I was doing was kind of baloney. I did not know what I was doing. So I was taking a lot of damage because of that. But uh, yeah, the new items definitely do feel really good for solo CMs. And probably going to be really good for team CMs too once we get into that. Alright, so enough about solo CM. We're actually going to move on to Fasani's now. So I'm going to show some clips of that. So, uh, enjoy. Dude, what is the delay on this world? What? The moment everyone's been waiting for. Oh my god, 114. Am I gonna make it? Oh, I can do this as well, I think. Goes five tick. If I can fucking click on time. Yeah, this world's so bad. Holy shit, I need to get off this world immediately. Okay, dude, I can't dodge. The ping is so bad. Dude, are you seeing this? 67 ping my ass. Like, what? Why am I not doing raids? I'm just testing stuff, Sax. After I'm done testing, I'll uh, be back on my raids three grand. Don't worry. Wow, I actually did that right for once. Bring Epizon. I don't know, Shawag, but with. The fact that you can use frawls now, it's probably not as bad, but I'm liking it so far. 
you have a lot more spec to play with. Maybe if you're actually using claws and not using SGS like me, it might be worth it. Well, Gmail. Ah! And tablet. Ah, I saw you cop the shadow. I was watching your stream. So here are going to be my thoughts. Um, the new staff is nice at Fosani's for one, because you hit very hard in the pillars, double the damage. And two, now you don't have to be locked to the normal spellbook anymore, and you can bring Death Charge and Frawls, which is really nice. You get to spec more with your Dins Bulwark, Claws, G Maul, or if you're a noob like me, a Ceridome and Godsword. So in that aspect, it's good. Now, I'm not too sure if the spec ring is super good at Fosani's. I would probably have to do more runs where I actually use maybe, let's say, Claws or Gmaw, just so that way I'm actually making the kill go faster instead of me using SGS, which does make the kill a bit slower. But either way, I still do think the staff is at least super good for Fosani, so th that was a no-brainer, though. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll probably do a little bit more testing, and I'll upload my findings there. But uh, yeah, until next time, guys, see you around.